Hello then, welcome back to Byzantium. So, last time I, uh, well, messed up bad, I released the Independence Faction, and as a result of that, I now have to, well, surf my way through, uh, well, conquering them again, which of course is a nightmare. We also have been attacked, there's a Jihad against us, and just like uh, the Sonus before them, I'm pretty sure they will lose, but do actually have quite a bit of forces, so it could, it could go the wrong way, but I'm pretty sure here that I will be able to defeat them, and especially if you consider the fact that every single one of my released vassals here are, well, opting to join. I think I'm going to siege this province here, most likely for the purpose of making something work, and the war chief of the Yomsa Vikings is about to die too, so everyone is, uh, everyone, everything is more or less going my way here. I am just going to, of course, continue the conquest, continue taking everything, and hopefully then we can create Rome. Uh, very soon. We'll see how it goes. The Jihad here is actually going fairly alright for us. We have one. Well, we are mostly winning, but it could actually become our first loss in this uh, campaign right now. When the big army here is about to attack us. In Europe, we have been doing fairly well for ourselves. The, uh, uh, what, is it, what was it called? The half the, or two thirds of Duchy Moravia has been taken. We are fighting Hungary here for uh, the... Uh, Four counties down here, so that's also going along very nicely. And a vassal of mine actually declared a uh, invasion of Castile and managed to pull that off. And kind of bad here that it's actually a mayor that did that, so he could potentially become a uh, well, the king of Castile or the dog of Castile, depending on how you want to look at things. But uh, I believe this actually puts me in a position where I can potentially now create the Hispanian Empire or at least get very very close. Let's. Uh, Let's take a quick look at that. Hispania. No, I'm very close as you can see here, 78%. So one that, once I actually can declare one of these guys again and take Badios, I'm pretty sure that will be uh, that will be everything that I need to actually uh, actually make sure that I can pull that off. Of course, also if I can revassalize the Emperies, that would be uh, well, that would be wonderful. And uh, other than that, I can actually now start to uh, offer vassalization to people again. As you can see, some of them don't actually like me due to the fact they are Norman, but it's uh, I, it's not too much I can do about that. I'll just have to push claims, but uh, some places I don't actually have claims, which of course is annoying. But uh, I should be able to make something work once I actually create the empires that will be forced to uh, forced to resist my divine power. No, not really. But as I said, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can pull all of these back under my banners again uh, sooner rather than later. It shouldn't it shouldn't be an issue, but uh, we'll figure that out. I'll uh, check to see how this battle goes though before I leave you, and as you can see here, it is a pretty substantial victory. We have more or less now decided that the Jihad in uh, in our favor. All that remains is really to just to keep them out of the country, and of course, the end result of this will probably be one hell of a rebuild against Norman kids, because the simple fact that they have high decadence, there is nothing that can actually uh, protect them now, once their armies are have been destroyed, scattered, you get the idea. So uh, I am going to just hunt down their armies now, destroy every single one of them, and then I guess the Jihad will just end in in my victory here. We'll see how it uh, how it goes. As you can see, I'm opted for usurping the Italian kingdom tile, and as a result of that, we now have quite a lot more targets to attack here. I don't really want to peacefully vassalize any of these. Uh, reason being simple: if I were to do something like that, we uh, we would, well, get people that will rise up in Revolt. A lot of these people will still rise up in Revolt, don't get me wrong, but at least now I can attack them in order, and as such keep uh, keep things easier. The, uh, cause it still keeps Castile, but uh, I can always make something work here. And for the Roman Empire, Ferrara, we have basically everything. Thrace, we have basically everything. Antioch will have that one done pretty soon. Jerusalem, also pretty soon. Alexandra is the only uh, only problem here, and what I really just have to do is either plot to kill this guy, for instance, which is actually fairly easily done. I'll just plot to kill every single one of them who is currently causing a trouble, and then peacefully vassalize them. Send them a gift, boom, vassalized. So it's not really a problem. For the jihad here, there's not really much of a problem either. All that really, uh, all that really remains to be done is just keep them out, fight them every now and again. And as you can see here, there's not actually a, a problem at all. All I really have to do is siege one or two provinces and. Once that happens, I'm pretty sure we are we are more or less done. I'm also very tempted to go ahead and attack this guy and just keep on, uh, or more or less just, uh, just uh, well, make ourselves a, uh, a piece of land here. So I'm going to do that. We're going to fight for Kabylia. 
And the goal will of course be to just take Northern Africa before he uh, before he can start causing trouble for us. So that should be fine. But uh, for that, other than that, I'll just continue fighting the wars that I'm currently <laughs> that I currently have started, and uh, it shouldn't actually be a problem winning them all. We'll uh, pull it off, uh, I think, shortly. As you can see, we have 1% war score, which means that the Jihad is as good as over. So we're just going to enforce the mons here. The Tony Jihad has failed. It's pathetic. We know this. But what we are going to do just as well then is declare Holy War for Alexandria. Because that is... Uh, that's how we do things, isn't it? We're also still going to uh, get back everything that we uh, that we own here, hopefully. But uh, it's going still going to take a little bit of time. I will also fabricate... Or plot against them in order to actually make this work but uh, it shouldn't be a problem the only thing i'm kind of worried about here is this kid so i'm very tempted to just go either go for straight out imprisoning him or assassinating him i have pretty good odds for this of course it's kind of expensive uh but even so i'm tempted to do that my second son here has actually become captain of the arrangian guard so uh, that makes things a little bit interesting especially the fact that he suddenly became heir to the kingdom of navarra for that reason which to be quite frank, doesn't actually make any sense at all to me. Do actually have Norway and also now Italy, so it doesn't actually matter if I lose Namara, but even so, it's kind of weird that it suddenly became the uh, the elected heir or the heir like that. Hmm. It's a funny incident indeed, but I think we are going to assassinate him. I can't remember when, but apparently I've done something to kill me Kinslayer quite a while ago, and judging by my stats, I shouldn't be able to keep this empire together, so I'm actually happy with how things have been going. Anyways, we are going to attempt to murder that uh, that brat of mine because he is it's the wrong uh, it's the wrong well culture. He's more or less just a failed experiment, and he died in suspicious circumstances and worked about as well as it could have hoped. Now, where's that heir of mine? That new heir, the captain of the range and guard. Where are you? There you are. So we are going to put him as well heir to everything here. Count Armand of Minsk. Once again, this is something that doesn't really make sense. Byzantine Empire is primo. Everything here is primo. So his kid suddenly became the heir to Scandinavia, Britannia, and Ven the Vendish Empire? Okay, something is wrong with succession laws here. Everything should go to one kid. It, you can't just split up everything when it has the same law, for crying out loud. No, I, don't, I can't. I can't. We'll, we'll go with just the middle one. Um... This is uh, this is a problem. I'll sort this out. I'll kill the I'll I'll kill the brat. I'll plot to kill the brat. I think if I can. If I can't, that's fine too. But uh, we'll we'll see. We'll solve it one way or another. I can't plot to kill him and get two thousand plot score, so he should die shortly. I'll uh, continue the wars here, and hopefully I can still uh, fulfill my promise of creating Rome pretty soon. We'll see how it goes. As you can see, we pull that off, and with that, now everything is going to. Uh, yeah, I have a feeling that the title, uh, the uh, the Duchy title that, or supposedly Duchy title that he holds, is kind of what has been screwing me over, but I have no idea if it's actually the truth. We're going to go with Improved Keeps here. Culture Infrastructure and Improved Keeps are more or less on the same level. And I'm also very tempted to do an upgrade in, uh, in Heavy Infantry and potentially Light Infantry here, but I think we're still just going to focus on military organization until it's at a maximum. Due to the fact that the morale and also the extra troops matter more to me than just a little bit of extra efficiency. So uh, we'll aim with that. We also have a, uh, well, tiny freezing liberation rebuild here. That shouldn't actually be a problem to deal with at all if I just uh, re out send troops up there. I'll uh, hopefully be able to pull this off soon. Well, this is kind of interesting. I just got... Uh, the <clears throat> My apologies, I just got a depressed trait, which is I really hate my life. And also it gives me the opportunity, I believe, if I'm not completely mistaken, to commit suicide. And that could actually be kind of interesting, considering that I have a pretty decent air right now that I could potentially uh, change to once I actually want to. Uh, for the time being, however, we'll just use this guy. He is for the best. This air, the air it's himself is actually fairly good. The problem, of course, is that he's deceitful and proud, cruel. So it's not the best to change them, but uh, I'm, I'm a little bit unsure what happens if I bec <laughs> if I inherit the Varangian God, if I actually keep that one, that title forever, or if uh, it's actually open elective, so I would actually presume someone else gets it for uh, more or less because of the fact that it is open elective. 
But uh, I honestly don't know. It could have been funny just to check it out. But for now, however, we will continue our road towards uh, towards Rome. It's not that far away. I am also attacking here this guy because there's more reason that I I don't need him dead or conquered or whatever you want to call it before I can actually make something work. As you can see, uh, people have been uh, fabricating quite a lot of claims, and I'm going to use those claims. I see no reason not to use them. And as a result of that, things are probably <laughs> no things are probably going to get a little bit interesting. But uh, yeah, it's looking good. Ruthenia has taken another province here that we do not like, so. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities and a lot of warfare that is going to happen. I'm just going to continue with said warfare. And as you see here, Trace is what I'm working on now. We're only missing Antioch and Alexandria. Alexandria is also working on. Antioch is this province right here. So I might actually just go for straight out assass assassinating this kid and make something out of that. Of course, if I should die when I sat by assassination or because I'm plotting the assassination, I would not be I would not be sorry. I would just be uh, I would be fairly confident because that is a gamble I took, and the loss of uh, loss of life or the fact that I die is a gamble that I can then accept I've lost. But uh, for now, I'm going to secure Trace and I'm going to secure Alexandria, and then we'll see if I have to actually take the uh, step of uh, assassination. We'll see how it goes. Well, this is the first for me. I haven't actually thwarted a poison vine. Uh, someone actually tried to plot to kill me here, and <clears throat> it's actually my son. How dare you? You're a, you're a bastard, you know that. Anyways, Edla is sure guilty. She uh, is going to be murdered here. Unfortunately, what I'm kind of hoping for here is actually being able to uh, pull Rome together before I die. And the reason why I would like to uh, be able to pull Rome together before I die is very simple. By being able to do that, I can then just kill myself and then uh, create Rome, start anew, start with blank pages more or less so also if I die now I'm pretty sure the holy war here just ends inconclusively which also is horrible because I'm almost I have almost won there's no reason for me to have this end inclu inconclusively when it's almost over so uh, that is kind of my reasoning behind that we are going to take uh, these two other and again I just want to uh, I just want to make my realm one <laughs> into one piece again shouldn't actually be a, a problem if uh, if you get what I mean. So uh, I'll just keep on fighting. And hopefully Rome will be ours very soon. Well I kind of forgot about this battle. So I'm going to show it show it to you. It shouldn't really be uh, any problems at all. We are we're crushing it pro quite significantly. And I'm pretty sure. Oh. Well that is awkward. They added some more troops here. And I'm actually losing now. Can I still pull a victory out of this? I can. But I guess we'll just accept the... Uh, Accept this re resignation, it's for the best, and we'll do this and this. So, let us march this army to uh, so it can actually re reinforce, and I am still contemplating whether or not I should murder this guy. Is there any claimants I can invite? I have a claim. I have a weak claim. So, plotting to kill this guy would probably not result in anything at all. I'm also plotting to kill King Guy because I have, an, I have a guy who has a claim to... Uh, as a claim to Bavaria. I think we just go for the assassination here. And it actually worked. And he is kind enough to want to uh, join my wonderful realm. So I believe I actually have every single piece piece of the puzzle now. And I can restore the Roman Empire. Um, I actually need the prestige of at least 3000. So I think I'll do it with this character and then die. Roman Empire is restored at the dawn of a new era. Friends, Romans, countrymen. Lend me your ears. Of the miraculous recovery of territory lost centuries ago, the Roman Empire has been reborn. Europe has endured a dark time since the Imperial Frontiers were stormed by barbarians, and promise after promise were at their touch. But now a bright new age has dawned for all of civilization. The Roman state will no longer be referred to as the Empire of the Greeks, by jealous pretenders in the West, who recognize its true heir to the legacy of the Rome. Empress Tiberian and Rus are restored Imperium Romanum, but much work remains to be done. There's still territory to recover and ancient borders to reclaim. For the Senate and people of Rome, Estu Perpetua, which I have no idea what it means. Anyways, I uh, am now Emperor of Scandinavia? No, 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 no. I did not. I did not. Uh, I did not do this just to become Emperor of Scandinavia. No, 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 no. Make primary. There we go. Roman Empire has been become my primary title, and we have the nice blue. Blue, lime, no, red. 
You have a nice reddish color. And I'm pretty sure people still hate me for it, but it's fine. And I can actually make Rome my capital now. Do I want to make Rome my capital? <laughs> Do I really? Uh, Tech-wise, it's probably a horrible, horrible idea. To be perfectly honest, it's a horrible idea, tech-wise. Um, but I don't think I have too much of a choice here. I am a little bit unsure, to be perfectly honest. Grace is actually something that I own. Oh. Do I want to make Rome my capital? I think I do. Store the capital. Um, Tech-wise, 16. How am I doing military-wise? Just 3? I'm probably about 7 or 8 here. 6. Oh. Huh. Well, I guess we should actually make Rome capital. Although, we will be lagging behind. Cultural and economy-wise, we're doing extremely well. 2 techs at level 6, so... Uh, I think I'll actually have to make Rome capital. It's it's not a Roman Empire without a Roman capital, so we will do that. Rome has become a capital. And with that, we now need to do some tech upgrades. In military organization, of course, and... Unfortunately, it'll still be uh, quite a while until I'm back up to where I should be, uh, well, retinue-wise. So we'll have to rely on the ones that we have. We have to actually be careful with these now and not lose them, because if we do, we can't... We can't reforge them in ages, so I have to be kind of careful with that. But at least now I have the Roman Empire created, and that's not what I, what I expected. The the tour borders is still just Rome, so I will probably have to create the Holy Roman Empire and things like that. But uh, it should be fine. I should be able to do that. I don't think I can create any empires right now. Let's see, empire. No, let's see Francia first. Why do I... I've done that twice, this game. Empire of Francia, I need... Some more, so that's not actually a surprise. But I believe I can use the Imperial Reconquest now on people. So it shouldn't actually be a problem getting... Uh, getting my lands. I should probably just await it and then use Imperial Reconquest on everyone, but... Uh, it's fine, we can use Imperial Reconquest for... Uh, Tyrol, which should be fine. I can also use it on this guy. Uh, Imperial Reconquest of Bavaria. So... Uh, We'll use that next time, I think, and uh, start really taking back the lands that we uh, that we have lost. And also, I think we'll then end up conquering everything. I'll also keep on, keep on creating a lot of empires for the single reason that the fact that I want people to not rise up and revolt against me. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Anyways, it's kind of bad here that upgrade upgrade all counties are. Well, that Rome is so far behind, but it should be fine. We'll uh, we'll figure something out. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment, praise Chris is mentioning if you like. Uh, just before I leave though, I will allow time to pass just a little bit. I just lost a... Yeah, I lost a Nair Science due to the fact that, well... That's just brilliant. I believe I can actually hand out Lada without getting... Or Ringstead, is it, probably? Yeah, it's Ringstead. Uh, we'll hand this one out to whoever is in charge of Shelland. This chick, apparently. So, you are going to get... Uh, said province <laughs> and you're going to be converted uh what i'm actually just waiting for here is to, i'm just going to allow it to go a couple of months to see if the uh if the achievement fires this is one of my last ways to check if the uh, game is broken which i have expected for quite a long time uh, long games have tended to be broken no matter how you do just because of the sh sheer chance so uh, yeah this game is definitely broken achievement wise, but uh, I'm just going to do them anyways, and I'll feel happy about that. Sorry for dragging out, I should probably have checked this uh, off screen, but uh, if I didn't get the achievement, I wanted to celebrate it with you. Sorry. I'll see you next time. Bye.